Alright, so take a look at some of the new uh, Cubase 8 functionality. One of the great things is an extension to the actual cord, pad, cord track called cord pads. So if I wanted to come here, we could just take our cord track and we could, as we come to our cords, we could just come right over here and open what we call cord pads. And this would allow me to actually have almost like a software-based MIDI controller. So if I want to come here, I could actually just hit one key on a piano keyboard. And I could just trigger these different chords. Now, if I'm coming up with a song idea, what's great is we could also just open up different chord assistants. I could look at chords based on a circle of fifths or by the proximity chord. So you could just come over here and say, I really like this chord, and drag it down directly into your project. And as we do this, we can now just record this as normal MIDI data. So I'll come right here and. We don't have to necessarily be limited to just block chords because we can come right over here to our patterns and we can open up different players that we can choose where we want this to be a guitar player or a piano player. So if I have a guitar part, and if I wanted to actually take an existing part here, I could select these parts. And for this, right click, and we can actually figure out what the chord tracks are. So create chord symbols, and now I can populate the chord pads from the chord symbols. <coughs> so now when I wanted to play different chords, and we can do this for multiple parts. I've wanted a Rhodes, a guitar as well as strings. I could just come over here and just record these parts all together. At that point, you could actually just see all these different parts. Now, one of the hardcore great things that was implemented within Cubase 8 was the ability to select a part here. And now I can just render it in place. So what's great about this is it can automatically just turn this into an audio file. So if I wanted to come here, we go to the render setup, and I can choose to have this dry with effects, without effects. At that point, we can just hit OK. It's going to take that MIDI information, go to a virtual instrument, and then just route it directly as an audio track on our project window. So it's very, very simple to have all of your MIDI parts that are taking a lot of CPU resources to be rendered immediately as audio. So those are some of the great new features found in Cubase Pro 8.